Imagine losing 95 pounds in eight months. I can't imagine. It was rough. It wasn't easy. It wasn't good. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. So about a month or so ago, I made a video where I reacted to my old YouTube videos and it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to go back and react to one more and one more specifically called I Almost Died In My Sleep Eating Disorder Story, which was posted on March 30th, 2019. So over three years ago. So we're going to go in, watch this video. I'm going to quickly get out of the way that the camera quality is a little bad right now. It's because my lighting right now is terrible. I apologize for that. Just focus on the actual video. But I also have to ask you to drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave me a comment down below. It means so, so, so much. We have currently 119 subscribers. So you wanna be that lucky 120? Subscribe right now. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start watching it and let's react to it because I haven't seen this video probably since it was posted. So this can be interesting. What's going on guys? Justin here. Um... I was just kind of sitting here, uh, it's like 12.50, I'm a lazy fucker, sorry, so I like just woke up, but, um, is it my monster? My apologies, you just fell, um, my makeshift tripod isn't very good, but we're still just sitting here sipping on a white monster. This, I've been drinking these clearly for a long time, I am obsessed with these things, they are amazing, are they the best for you? Probably not, but neither is ingesting all the toxins that are in our atmosphere so it is what it is all right just leave me alone um i figured i'd because i'm gonna start making some videos often now because honestly i find it really fun he made no videos often sadly i wish he did back in this time but he didn't but we're doing it now it's okay like i didn't get like you know i don't get any views but i find it fun for myself and just to be able to show like my nutrition on a daily basis and it gives me more of like an idea of what I'm doing too, so. You honestly did not have an idea of what you were doing because you were doing everything wrong. Everything wrong. You dumb little. I'm gonna tell you a story today about something that's honestly a big thing in the fitness community, um, eating disorders. Um. So, I am now recovered. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Not even close. Look at my face. Was I recovered? Are you mad men? You were recovered. Mm, in denial. In denial. Sorry. Thank you. But, um, coming on, what, about two years ago, I was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. Um, <clears throat> most of you probably know what anorexia is, um, it's, you know, the restriction of food, um, I lost 95 pounds in 8 months, that is a lot of weight. Imagine losing 95 pounds in 8 months. I can, actually, that was rough, that was rough, it wasn't easy. Wasn't good. Wasn't easy, wasn't good. Shouldn't have done it, but I did. So it's in the past. We're good. Whatever. Ah! In a very short time. Um, yeah, so my, in that time, my full commitment, my only goal in life was to see the scale go down, which obviously is very 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 unhealthy um my heart rate got really really low um i was close to dying in my sleep so uh yeah it was definitely definitely really bad um so i know honestly if any of you clicked on this video you might be struggling with yourself so i just kind of want to tell you how i got through it but um it's definitely a, it's definitely super hard like it's not an easy fix miss pause real quick i hate the way i talk in these videos like i literally sound like i've been smoking a pack of cigarettes a day for like 35 years like i'm literally 
Yeah, it's pretty freaking terrible, man. It sucks. It's not easy. It's not easy. Alright, it ain't no be easy. Alright. Shit. On uh, no one's judging you because of it. Because I know people are like, oh, why don't you just go eat? You know, it's that easy. It's not that easy. It's like you have this this other person in your head and he's he or she it's telling you you know you shouldn't do this you shouldn't eat that that's bad for you you're gonna get fat you know what I mean and it's just the the way to truly truly get past it is you gotta start slow so what I did at first is I just started slow by I still tracked my calories because I found that that helped me and it made me feel more as if I'm not going to get fat because I was still, you know, tracking and... See, this is where you can tell that I'm still not good from what I just said just then. I'm using it to still know that I won't get fat. That's... That's still an eating disorder, right? Like, I'm tracking because I'm still scared to get fat. Which, it's not good to get fat or overweight. But, I was still, it was a comfort thing. And it wasn't, it was keeping me skinny. It was still keeping me in this very small party. That's why I was doing it at that point. The mindset is just so much different now. Like, I'm talking about, oh, this voice in my head that voice was still there you know what i mean like that voice was still there that voice isn't there anymore but like at this point in time i was just lying to myself and lying to everyone else but i was still struggling a lot in this video tracking is definitely a good thing it can be unhealthy and if you think it's unhealthy for you cut it out cut out the tracking macros there's ton tons of time to do that later but first you need to get healthy you need to get through this you need to fix this but what I did is I just increased my calories I just kept increasing I was down I was eating like 800 calories a day I was doing like 400 calories of cardio every single day like I had nothing in me like it, that's like the weight was just coming off so fast and I have a fairly fast metabolism as it is because I'm 16 and I'm an athlete, I go to the gym, I walk a lot, I play hockey, I play basketball, so, you know, I need that nutrition. But you just need to start increasing at, sorry, look at this, look, look, look at this, look, someone wants to say hi. Say hi, London. This little London, she's here somewhere. She's downstairs somewhere, she's probably, I don't know, looking for butt ropes. It's probably what she's doing, it's usually what she's doing. She my baby. But, yeah, she's just going to chill here with us now. But, um, yeah, she'll so just, just got to start increasing at first. You got any snacks? I only came here for snacks. I don't actually want to hang out with you. I just want snacks. Get yourself up. And then, like, I prompt, like, if you do that too, and if you increase it slow, you're, you're not going to gain any body fat. Lies, okay? Let's just not throw things at people. If you're gonna gain weight you're gonna gain some body fat and this has nothing to do with the video right now but i just like it's gonna happen so just like if you, any of you are trying to bulk or anything like that or bulk or try to gain muscle just know you're gonna gain some body fat you've seen me i've gained some body fat but you just have to embrace that body fat okay body fat isn't bad a lot of it is but you need body fat to not have to have a hoodie in like warm all the time like this kid okay he's some body fat right anyways back to the video what happened with me is that, luckily, um, I don't know if you guys know what muscle memory is, but your body, like, I lost a lot of muscle too, like a lot of muscle. But because my body had that muscle memory, when I just increased my calories, I wasn't even working out that much. But then when the energy started getting back in, started getting back in, my muscles filled up. What do you mean? You have no, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> My muscles just filled back up. Where'd it go? It ain't there. All right, there's nothing there. Look at your face, it's sunken. And they got bigger. Like my, I'm not saying I got big muscles. Trust me, but they were a lot smaller. 
and now they're I can say they're more defined. My abs started actually popping. Um and yeah, so it's like it's really like you're not gonna get fat. I promise you. I know it's scary, but you're not. So just you gotta you have to look at your health first because being at such low body fat and being such a light weight and so skin is not good in your body. It doesn't look good. It does it doesn't look good. I promise you that like looking back at when I was super super skinny um like look at me now I have like 20 pounds off from what I have now 2025 20, which imagine 2025 20, pounds off that <sighs> is hard to see but you just don't look good you feel like shit like, I know, like, this is probably weird to talk about, but I'm going to tell you, like, like, I had no sex drive at all. Like, and I know this is weird to talk about on YouTube and stuff, but I feel like this is a big thing. Like, I had no sex drive. I couldn't get hard on. Um, and it was just, like, a terrible feeling. Your energy is so low. And it's because, like, your hormones are so effed up because... You don't have enough new you don't have enough nutrition in general so your nutrition isn't going to any of that stuff like my hands were freezing 24 7 because your body's using all the calories to just keep you running it doesn't have any excess calories to use things that you wouldn't say you don't really need but aren't as important so like it's not going to your hormones it's not going to warm up your hands and stuff because they're not as important and it's just a bad feeling. The crazy thing is that, like, I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Like, what I'm saying right here is extremely correct. Like, I, and everything I'm, like, giving advice on, like, is correct. Like, it is good advice. But my problem was taking my own advice. And I honestly struggle with that nowadays, but for different reasons. Um, I'm not going to get into all that. But, like... I know exactly what I need to do and what other people should do. And I know like the whole scientist, like the whole hand cold thing, like that's all true, right? Like your body goes, prioritizes keeping your heart pumping before it prioritizes keeping your hands warm. So that's why your hands get cold faster when you have, when you're hungry, like you have no energy because it's not its main priority. I know what I'm talking about, but it's just, I could not implement that myself for some reason. I don't know why. It's a bad feeling. And if you can, if you can really just start, sorry, Ugh. start increasing small at first, get yourself up. Once you're feeling good again, you can go to the gym, but you got to chill out at the gym at first. And I, even though you won't be going to the gym, your body will be using those calories for muscle. Like they will be going to muscle, even though you're not going to the gym. Like, I didn't go to the gym for, like, six months, and my muscles got bigger. I got stronger. I wasn't gaining, like, any fat. It was going all the muscle because your muscle memory. That's just how it is. But also, there's a thing, too. Like, when, like, when, like, you're so malnourished, like, when you eat, like, a lot, like, at that point in time when you're extremely malnourished, like, your, your body does use that for not, like, it's not just fat storage. Like, that does happen, but, like, First, it goes like, okay, let's get everything working up and running. Like, let's make the, sure the organs are working. Let's use the energy for all that. You know what I mean? Then it kind of goes into like glycogen storage, which is kind of like your muscles and stuff. But it, and then it kind of goes to fat. Because it's like, okay, at first it'll gain some fat, which you need some fat at first. 100%. Like, you need fat like that. Like, where I was, like, I needed to gain fat. I couldn't just gain muscle. I needed to gain fat. And again, it's not a bad thing. And your body at first will try to store it as fat because it's like, okay, we're not used to getting a lot of food. So we're getting a lot of food right now, but we don't believe that we're going to get it tomorrow. So we're going to store this as fat so we have it for tomorrow to use. So that's why at first when people are like, say you see like these bodybuilders or whatever, like right after a competition and like they'll gain a decent amount of fat because of that same reason. But anyways.
Well, you're not here for the nutrition aspect, I don't think, at least. I remember, I think, the first breakthrough, I wouldn't say breakthrough, but the first step to what I did is I went out and I got some, got something I was really, really craving. I went out, I got a pizza. And the pizza, it was great, you know, like at first I was stressing a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I was stressing a bit. But afterwards, like, it was great. And I woke up the next day, and I was fine. That's the thing. I ate that pizza. I ate, like, close to the full pizza. Like, a large pizza. I did not do that. I did not do that. I can tell you right now, I didn't do that. That didn't happen. I did not go out and get a pizza. I can guarantee you that I did not go out and get a pizza. It's really funny that I said that, but, like, I definitely didn't do that. This is also not too long out of the hospital. That's a lie. Never mind. But, yeah, I did definitely did not eat a pizza. So, lying to everyone else again. You gotta stop doing that. Chicken. Uh, chicken. Of course, cheese. Look, I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of a... Because it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Ah. You should have, but it didn't. Extra cheese, pepperoni, um, pineapple, because pineapple goes on pizza. I'm sorry if, you know, chill out. Pineapple goes on pizza, man. Pineapple does go on pizza. Don't come at me. It does, all right? It does. It's good. But I had that. I woke up the next morning. I was fine because my body needed it. My body needed it, and it was looking for so much energy to repair itself that it wasn't gonna go to fat like that's just how it is like your body's fat isn't the first thing your body's gonna use the energy for when your body's looking for so much energy to just get your your hormones going and like he likes talking about hormones doesn't he jesus freaking christ how many times count how many times i've had hormones in the video and comment down below please your heart going and stuff like that it's not gonna go to fat right away because you need those calories your body needs that energy so it's it's gonna be very hard for your body to get excess energy to store as fat especially in the early time so go out and eat and then like two days later I went to the movie theater had a large popcorn too and I was still fine because my body needed it okay I'm gonna stop the video there because the rest of this video is me just continually saying like go out and eat and like, oh, hormones. If you want to watch the rest of the video, there's like four minutes left. You can go do that in your own time. I'll leave it down below. But this video is just getting long, so I just don't want it to go on for too long. There's a lot of good in this video, and there's a lot of bad in this video. There's a lot of things I said that are extremely true, but there's a lot of things that I've said where I'm just lying to myself. Like, I didn't go and get a pizza. I didn't go and get a large popcorn. None of that happened. Now, I can tell you from looking at this, this video was not made for people. This was not made for people to see or people to actually get help from exactly. Like, obviously that's what I wanted out of it, but this video was made to convince myself. I was trying to convince myself. Everything I was saying, like, you're not gonna get fat, you're not gonna get fat, I was talking to myself, okay? I, I was looking at myself in the phone while I was making this because I was speaking to myself because I wanted to get out of the hole that I'm in right here. And I think at this point I was on my way out until I kind of hit another dip. Um, but I wanted to get better. So I was constantly trying to tell myself like, hey, this is what you need to do. Like, you're not gonna get fat. You're not gonna get fat. You're not gonna get fat, right? You need it. Your hormones need it. Your body needs it, right? It's not gonna go to fat. Cause I was trying to convince myself as well as other people, but I was just, I just didn't want to be like this. And so I was speaking to myself because I didn't have anyone else to tell me. I didn't have anyone else really like supporting me uh, other than doctors, which that was just their job. So I didn't really feel any like unconditional support there. But overall, um, video was a bit strange, um, a bit cringy, I guess you could say. Uh, but you guys seem to like it. Uh, we all have to start somewhere, I guess. It just makes me feel like my videos are a little better now because I don't talk like this constantly with the hormones. But, you know. 
this is all stepping stones to where we're at now and i hope we continue to improve but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see any more reaction videos or if you want to see any other type of videos leave them comment down below i appreciate it as always do not forget to leave without dropping a like subscribe and hitting the bell all right that's twice in this video i got you if you haven't done it already that's just disrespectful all right just is but as always i hope you all have a fantastic day evening morning night whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you in the next one